Algebra 1, number 1.5a. We're going to talk about using the distributive property in this video. We can use the distributive property to write equivalent expressions. In this one, the 2 gets distributed to the 3 and then the 4. We end up with 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. We keep the plus sign in the middle. Now, if you're a regular subscriber and you've been watching my videos for a while, you know about my mother bird and the parentheses nest. It's as if the 2 right here is the mother bird and the 3 and the 4 are the little chicks. And she takes turns feeding each one. No one starves. They're both fed. And the distributive property of multiplication over addition says that this is always true. Okay? So we can omit or remove parentheses in expressions like 2 times 4 plus 3 times 5 and write 2 times 4 plus 3 times 5 without parentheses because the order doesn't change for the order of operations. We're going to multiply and then add. It stays the same. But if we get rid of parentheses in an expression like 2 with the 3 and the 4 inside parentheses, it won't be equivalent because if we do order of operations and solve 3 plus 4 first, that's a 7 times 2 is 14. And if we take the parentheses away and just get rid of them, now we have to multiply and then add for order of operations, and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. That's not equivalent, 14 and 10. Well, the distributive property must be used to remove the parentheses. So we know that 3 plus 4 is 7 and times 2 is 14. What we do is we distribute the 2 to the 3 plus the 2 to the 4. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times 4 is 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. And yes, yay, they're equivalent. It worked. So we got to use that distributive property, okay? So look at it this way. If I had 3 plus 5 in parentheses with 2 on the outside, it's like this. It's like I've got 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5. See? Here's the 2 times 3 plus the 2 times 5 going to equal 16. And even if we did it with order of operations and added this first and said this 5 and that 3 are make an 8, and we have two 8s, that's 16, we're going to get the same answer. But if we just took the parentheses away and did 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5, we would have lost one of the 5s, wouldn't we? So we can use the distributive property to write equivalent expressions. This one would be 5x plus 5 times 2. And 5 times 2 is 10, so our equivalent expression is 5x plus 10. See? And for this one, we've got all variables inside of parentheses with the 2 at the back. It's a times 2, b times 2, c times 2 with the plus signs in between. And this is the same thing as if the 2 were in the front, and we distributed it that way, the 2a, 2b, 2c. See? And that's the correct way to write it. We want the uh, coefficient, that 2 number in front of the variable is the coefficient. We want that coefficient to be in front of the variable. See? And if we have numbers and variables inside the parentheses, we do the same thing. We distribute 3 times 2x plus 3 times 5, and we get 3 times 2x is 6x plus 3 times 5 is 15, and that's our equivalent expression. And when we've got numbers and variables inside of a big parentheses, we distribute 4 times a plus 4 times 2b plus 4 times 3. And we just drop down the 4a. 4 times 2b is 8b, and 4 times 3 is 12. So our equivalent expression to this one is 4a plus 8b plus 12. See? So remember, there's a big difference between just multiplying and then adding because that would be 2 times 4 is 8 plus 6 is 14. And if it had parentheses and we distributed, we'd have 2 times 4 plus 2 times 6. That's 8 plus 12. That's 20. They're not the same, are they? They're not equivalent. So remember, the distributive property of addition says for any number a, b, and c, a can be multiplied by b plus c and b a, b plus a, c because we're going to have a, b plus a, c, and distribute it. And for any numbers, a, b, and c, if it's in the back, if it's going to be distributed by being in back, see how it's in front here and back here, it's in back, we go b, a, plus c, a. See? All right? And remember my mother bird in the parentheses nest and how she takes turns, just like these numbers, feeding one and then feeding the other, but remember to keep your plus sign in the middle, okay? We're going to go on to 1, 5, B, and we're going to talk about factoring these, okay? Probably do that tomorrow because it's starting to get dark in here. All right? Bye.